Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the second question of day six using Java. So the question is to find factorial of a number. Here we have to write a program to find the factorial of a given number. And we know that the factorial of a non-negative integer n, which is denoted by n factorial, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. For example, if we will take five factorial, then five factorial equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 120. Similarly, 4 factorial is equal to 24. And here, given that the given number will be passed to the function as an input parameter of integer type, and the function is expected to calculate the factorial of the given number and return it as an int type. And here, assumptions for this program will be the given input number will always be greater than or equal to 1. And here, given that due to the range supported by int, the input numbers will be range from one to twelve. We will write the program for this question on Visual Studio Code. So before I start, please subscribe our channel to get all the questions and solutions of Vpro training. So now let's open Visual Studio Code and now press Ctrl N for New Tab. At first, we will write the program. After that, we will see how it works. So initially, we have to import some Java packages. So let's write import java dot io dot star, and the another package is import java dot util dot star. And now we have to define the class name. So let's give the class name as user main code two because this is our second question of day six. And now by pressing Ctrl S, we will save the program. And here. Our program name should be same as the class name. So here we have to write same as user main code two with extension dot java. And now we will select all files and let's save. After that we have to define the function. So we have to write public static int. Let's give the function name as n factorial, and uh, we have to pass one formal argument as an input. After that, we will define the variable. Let's say fact, and we will initialize it to one. After that, we will take for loop, and uh, we will define one variable i, and initially i value is one. And it will go up to i is less than equal to input one, and after that i plus plus. After that, we will perform the operation fact equal to fact into i, because we know that the factorial of any number is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to that number. So outside for loop, we will return the variable fact. Now we have to write the main function. So let's write public static void main, and here we have to write string args, and after that we will define some variables. So let's take an um for number, and the another variable is for storing the value of calling function. So let's write factorial, and After that, we will create the object of a scanner class. So let's write scanner sc equal to new scanner, and here we will pass system dot in, which will represent the keyboard. And after that, we will take the message from user. So let's write system dot out dot print ln, and let's write the message to the user. Enter the Number. After that, we will read it from keyboard. So we have to write num equal to sc dot next int. And now it's time to call the function, and we will store the value into factorial variable. And here we can see that our function name is n factorial. So here we have to write n factorial. And we will pass the actual argument. 
and after that we will print the value so we have to write system dot out dot print ln and here we have to pass the variable factorial and now by pressing control s we will save the program and for running the program we have to go into the drive where we have saved our program so in my case i have saved my program in the folder java programming and uh, to run this program we have to write the command so let's write java c and with file name user main code 2 dot java and press enter and after that we have to write java user main code 2 and here one message has came out enter the number so let's take 5 as an input and we know that the 5 factorial is 120 so let's check and here we can see that it returns 120 and let's run for another input this time we will take 4 as an input and we know that the 4 factorial is equal to 24 so let's check and here we can see that it returns 24 and now we will see how it works at first we have defined the function name dash and factorial with one formal argument as an input that is input 1 and now we will pass the actual argument that is number and uh, so let's take our input 1 equal to 5 we will find the 5 factorial so here after that we have defined one variable fact so let's write fact and initially fact value is 1 and after that we have taken for loop and initially i equal to 1 so let's take i and initially i value is 1 and now we will check the condition if i is less than equal to input 1 and here we can see that our input 1 value is 5 and which is greater than 1 so this condition is true so we will enter into the loop and we will perform this operation and here we can see that fact equal to fact into i so initially fact value is 1 and our i value is also 1 so 1 into 1 and fact value will update it to 1 so initially it is 1 and also 1 into 1 is 1 so we will again increment the i value so now i value becomes 2 after that we will again check the condition if 2 is less than equal to 5 so condition is true so we will again enter into the loop and will perform the this operation so fact into i and here fact value is 1 and i value is 2 and 2 into 1 it will give 2 so now fact will be updated to 2 and we will again increment the i value so now i becomes 3 and after that we will again check the condition if 3 is less than equal to 5 so condition is true so we will again enter into the loop and will perform the operation so here fact value is 2 and i value is 3 so 3 into 2 this time fact value becomes 6 and now we will again increment the i value so now i becomes 4 and we will again check the condition 4 is less than equal to input 1 and here 4 is less than 5 so the condition is true so we will again enter into the loop and we will perform the operation and here again we will multiply the fact into i so fact value is 6 and i value is 4 so 6 into 4 it will give 24 so now fact value becomes 24 and after that we will again increment the value i plus plus so now i becomes 5 and now we will check the condition if 5 is less than or equal to input 1 and here we can see that our input 1 is 5 which is equal to 5 so the condition is true so we will again enter into the loop and we will perform the operation fact into i so this time we will multiply fact means 24 into 5 and it will give 120 so now fact value becomes 120 and we know that the 5 factorial is equal to 120 so now we will again increment the i value so now this time i becomes 6 
and we will check the condition 6 is less than or equal to 5. So, the condition is because 6 is greater than 5. So, we will come out of the loop and we will return the fact and here we can see that our fact value is 120. So, 120 will be the answer. So, please do like and share this video and subscribe our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.